Hey, what's going on? This is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com. We create mindsets. Go below the video and be sure to get your 14 free money-making courses. You're going to love it. Yes, you are. You're going to love it. I am beginning to think one of the hardest things for people to do is to figure out what they want to do with their business. It seems to be one of the biggest areas because I, I listen to the calls because there, there will be another show coming up. I want to reverse engineer it back to why is this such a hard thing why is this so brutally tough for many people and I was like okay let's go back to when we were all kids there was something that we all wanted to do I was reading Inc. Magazine in high school. I do believe if I had the proper structure, I would have gotten the business much sooner because that's just what I wanted to do. That's what I study. That's what I like. That's what I enjoy. I, I love the stories of entrepreneurs who just start from nothing and make something. I love the guys who do the incredible things, uh, people who shape the world. That's just fun to me. So this, what I do today, is really not a departure from what's in my heart. So I don't think the big issue is knowing what to do. I don't think that's the issue. I think the issue is people are afraid to do what they want to do. I think that's the real issue because everyone knows what they don't want to do because let's let's just say you're broke dick Danny right now you need to make some money Craigslist is a wonderful way to do that most folks don't want to deal with it because Craigslist has a very high hassle factor people don't show up people flag uh, people want to beat you down on price there's just many things that people don't want to deal with in the realm of Craigslist but if you are broke dick Danny penniless Priscilla how the fuck can you be broke and choosy that is the thing that this is hey I am speaking from the posture of someone who worked in the fucking landfill because I needed money picking up diapers and shit because EPA regulations as they explained to me that you have to pull out so many parts or whatever I did that shit yet there are many of you who will not even put yourself into cause the whole thing with Craigslist being dangerous I read about more murders that happen in malls uh, movie theaters uh, colleges school, school campuses than I've ever read about on Craigslist but are you going to stop sending your kid to school? Nope. Are you going to stop going to the movies? Nope. But you know that Craigslist killer, man. Got to be careful. That's fucking bitch-ass fear speaking. And not the type of fear that some something is bad is going to happen to you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Uh, it, that is what's happening to people who are just afraid of some struggle afraid of going through some changes that's what that is and I think a big part of the I don't like I said I'm going back to it I don't think it's you don't know what you want to do it's just you're afraid to do it because it may not be popular you don't think you can make enough money uh, it can be really really crazy as these folks are driving <laughs> It can be arduous. It can be hard. But that's the thing because as I, I, I go through this and you know, people's like, hey, create a course on figuring out what you want to do. And I thought about that. But the thing is, 
I am working on preeminence. This is the new thing. The the new branding of the channel, all this stuff. There's there's a madness with it. There is a, a method behind the madness. There's a reason. There's a rhyme. There, there's things that I'm working on. And part of preeminence is I got to take care of you if you're my client. And part of taking care of you, give you an example of a client who's been with me four years. I have had to talk him out of a few things. I've had to like, hey, I mean, that that's my job to protect you as a client and often a lot of times the client wants to do something that is not in their best interest it feels good but it's really very far removed from what they should be doing and part of the preeminence and part of being different is I'm going to give you what you want but I'm going to make sure you get what you need and in creating a course like that, it is a dialogue. Because everyone, and this is the thing, every as you know, someone who's created courses, everyone doesn't learn the same way. So you could create this banging ass course, right? And you get people that go through it and they do really well. You get people who hate you because it's just like this course sucks. Okay, there's auditory learning. There is present. Oh, there's a there's another term for it, but auditory is one form. Well, I'll break it down where it's simple. See, hear, touch, and feel. Auditory have to put their hands on it. Practical exam examination or maybe cooperative education where you learn and do. And you, you know, it's just those three modes: see, hear, touch. And if you're a person who learns better from touching, online courses will frustrate the fuck out of you. If you're a person who's auditory and then there's all these slides and there's a lot of reading, that's gonna frustrate you. Many people don't even know what their learning style is. So you create this course from a, good Lord, that was crazy. You create this course to gain as many people as possible and then you, you end up pissing off a lot of the people because you know I'll talk about because the thing is my information works I've got too many people who watch the YouTube channel and made money and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get I'm gonna circle back to that in a minute so that's not the problem the problem is people feel that they're not going to get the desired results and another part of that is the dialogue, the talking. Uh, I've got a client right now who is extremely motivated. He's never had a business before. So I already knew going in what that would entail. But they paid me what I asked. So I am not just like, okay, let's go ahead and get them set up. I look forward to talking to the client. I look forward to hearing the stories because it's fun. But part of my job is to protect the client and part of that is we've got a, a road where I'm like, okay, we gotta do this, we gotta do this, we gotta put this in place, we gotta put a customer relationship management program in place, we need a referral program in place. There's a lot of work ahead in these next four months. There's a lot of work. But that's what it takes for some people who don't know their learning style, don't know their strengths, so for me to create this course of, hey, how to figure out what makes your heart beat would take a phenomenal amount of time and energy that, frankly, I don't want to invest. Because this, that group, which needs the most help, which needs the most uh, hands-on training, which needs to, they're the ones who want to pay the least. That's just facts. And that's why there's score, that's why mentorship programs, that's why I take your kid to work. That's why all of these uh, data points, exposure points exist because a person needs so much to get to that point. And to create a course in my mind that would achieve that, it would go like we would need to talk. We would need to figure out who you are. We would need to know, do you have a work ethic? There's a lot of discussion that goes into 
the first part of the course because just saying, bam, here's some information. When you you got people who probably cheated their way, you know, through college, not everyone, uh, folks who never were really academically rigorous to begin with, and you give them this information, and then they get frustrated, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, you're a scam artist or someone. Like, no, you just aren't that fucking bright. That's the reality of it, and. Okay, this is why I don't come out in rush hour. And then you have that, and then when you're honest with someone, because I started being successful when I realized that I was stupid. As much as I know, there's so much more that I don't know. And for me to rectify that problem, I study something new every day. I read or listen to three to four books a month. It's a it's an ongoing journey of self-improvement, discovery, and increasing one's personal value to the world. Now, let's circle back to the people who come to this channel and make money from the stuff. I see it in the comments. This is the what I call the friends with benefits syndrome. You, you got this friends with benefits. You know what I'm talking about. You fucking. And you go into it with, we just fucking. There is no commitment. There's no commitment. There is none of that stuff. Then one day, one of the partners of the Friends with Benefits deal catches feelings. And they want to go from friends with benefits to a relationship. But the other partner, you, has been getting all of this pussy, all of this dick, all of this good sex for free. And it's just like mentally, you're like, um, I don't value you. Because I've been getting this for free. I'm like, I don't have to pay for it. Guess, seriously. You know, sometimes that transition does happen. Sometimes it happens. But most of the time, if you start off friends with benefits, that's where you're going to stay. And if you stay in that realm, it's very hard to get out of it. So there are many people online It's like, you know, give all this information free. Give them actionable content. I've been doing this a long time. Human nature is human nature. And there are some of you who have watched this channel who have literally made hundreds of thousands of dollars and have not even given me a birthday card or a gift card. And I'm not asking you to do so. I don't want it. I'm not asking you to do that. What I'm saying is when I put this kind of information out, you use it and you make money, you are like, from an emotional standpoint, very grateful. From a viewership standpoint, you stay and watch the channel. But if I was to say, hey, you know, over the last seven years you made a hundred grand, could you break me off five thousand? You would be motherfucker, please. You ain't do shit but talk on the tube. All of a sudden that information becomes marginalized. You're like, you ain't do shit. You ain't do you you ain't shoot one free throw. I mean it it, it comes down to that, and that's the reality. That is the reality of that. That is the truth of that. And, you know, whenever, like, I loan people money and stuff, first question, I was like, can I give this away? And typically, I'm like, here you go. I don't even say pay me back because I know a lot of times when people are pressed and they need money like that, they're not going to pay you back. And if I, you know, if I could give it, I was like, here you go. And just move the fuck on. And that's what I do with this information here on YouTube. I know there's a lot of people who are uh, broke, broke Dick Danny, penniless Priscilla, and I say to you, go through the channel, watch the videos, pay attention, you will learn how to make money, you will um, a lot by just simply watching, for free, and also, let's talk about that for free stuff, it's not for free, it's called opportunity cost, for every hour that you spend watching, you lose money, because if you have taken the time to audit yourself, then you know what your hourly wage is for your service to humanity. So if you are 10 bucks an hour and you spend 10 hours watching YouTube videos earning, you're not really losing that much. But if you're a business owner or you have some or you've got something that's really going on and you're making 250 bucks an hour, $500 an hour. So an hour of you learning how to do something that you could pay someone 50 to to $100 for 
is a four hundred dollar or four hundred twenty dollar net. But if you are steeped in, it's just about me. I, I'll handle it myself. I figure it out myself. You're costing yourself so much money. But that goes back to exposure. That goes back to training. That goes back to being exposed to how business is built. That goes back to being exposed to how a business is managed and run. Different energy. So that's the, the, the play. That's the gambit right there. But you got to figure out on your own what you want to do because any course because there's this book uh, check it out if you want it it's called what colors your parachute and you go through all of these things and that's helpful to a degree but there's figuring out what you are good at there's figuring out how to increase that ability there, there's so much to that and that's why I don't want to fuck with that space because you're getting into institutionalized type space because of studies, surveys, you know, you, you see the little cookie test, the marshmallow test. It's like you can have one now, but if you let it sit on the table, you will get two later. You, that's what it's going to take, which, you know, kind of sounds kind of fun. But essentially, you have to really, really think about that from a different level versus the surface level of just help me figure out what to do then leave me alone and I'll make some money and don't no 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 if you want a life that is worthy of living it's going to cost you something it's not going to be free it's just not that's just reality I learned that a long time ago and many people are kind of stuck there and they don't really understand how things truly work so just some for you to chew on if you have not gotten your free courses yet go below the video and there's some stuff down there for you you can call in with a business question you can do this get your 14 free courses go through the boss course go through the mindset course think about some stuff and then make your call if about a business related question video production, marketing, business formation, stuff like that. I am not going to answer, quote, tax or LLC questions because that gets very deep and that should be a paid service with somebody that you can sit in front of and talk to. That's my opinion. Just my opinion. So be sure to get that stuff and I'll see you in the next video.